It would sound like... Go on, Miss Roberts. I don't know. I think you do, Miss Roberts. I... We don't have all day. I... How does he say it? Stop talking! <gasps> mm, no more questions. Here, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Eli the Rebel back here again on my channel. Y'all probably wondering, what am I doing here? I just posted DPL yesterday. Yo, click click the I card, top right corner. It, it's probably popping up right now, okay? Click, click that if you missed it, all right? I'm not here for DPL today, okay? I have a very, very special video for y'all today. Trust me, for like the fifth time, it's not DPL related. This is, this is, this is something, you know, a little, a little different, a little different today. So, as most of y'all know, I am the commissioner of the National Dex League, also just abbreviated as the NDL. And, uh, you know, for the first time in its league history, we're having an off season. Not, it's not just any ordinary off season though. We are, we, we have a collaboration with the National Doubles Association. And I have a very, very special representative from the National Doubles Association, Mr. K. Millie himself. K, you want to say hi to these people? What's good, y'all? So K Millie 132 uh, is a very uh, renowned figure um, in the National Doubles Association. Um, it was a league created by my doc person. Shout out the homie Ryder. We love you. Um, you know, and we we here today to reveal what the heck's going down here in this off season. So, you know, once again, you know this this gonna be a very very fun video to do because I am joined by a very special guest. So, you know, leave a like, hit the subscribe if you wanna you know see you know the the ending result for this, and also comment down below. Are you Team NDL or are you Team NDA? Come on now, come on now. We, I mean, y'all y'all should know my answer. That, that's a biased question, bro. You got all singles audience over here. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I mean, there there's some NDA people here that that be watching my stuff too on the low. They just don't want to admit it. But that that's not why we're here today. That's not why we're here today. So uh, obviously, what we're looking at right now is uh, the PD is the NDL uh, off season uh, uh, document that I that I created in the span of what i think 20 minutes it took me to just you know make a copy from pdl and just reword it a little bit so you know if you're a follower of the pdl uh th this format is shouldn't be that uh you know that different but for some but for some of y'all watching today this is something brand brand new and i'm glad that you're here and uh we're basically having a a league war in the style of a team tour mm, i like that it has a nice ring to it um so basically we so i have six wonderful coaches ready to ready to play uh in this and kev here also has six wonderful coaches here and we're about to reveal uh who's playing who in each specific format so the team tour so basically we have gen 6 ou we have vgc 2016 we have vgc series 10 uh gen 8 ou vgc series 11 and nat dex uh legacy as the six formats for this uh tournament um and then if a game seven is needed uh that will you know there's also an ffa um, I have two representatives for that game, and so does Kev. So, you know, very, you know, before we reveal that, um, I just, I think, Kev, you wanted me to, like, explain, like... The yeah, just go over, like, some draft rules, or maybe if you want to go into the FFA tiebreaker just a bit, but I know some coaches and people, like, interested in the offseason just wanted to, like, understand how the, uh, the draft process is going to work, because it's a little bit different from a normal draft. Ah, absolutely for sure yeah so um as we've already alluded um the one of the questions on this docs is how will i know who will be playing in this tournament we're about to reveal that very very soon um what is a pick ban so pick ban is a drafting system uh 
based on uh, the tiers that uh, Smogun has given us for both, you know, our three singles formats and the three uh, doubles formats. Um, the three doubles formats were, of course, chosen by Kev because I don't know what the heck I'm doing in that format. <laughs> I let him. I let him do all that. I let him do all that. He he sounds like he knows what he's doing. So, um, okay. So the catch is that their opponent must ban Pokemon that you cannot use during the picking process. So if I were to play Kevin, right, in Nat Dex Legacy per se, and he gets first pick, then what he would do is, you know, ban something, ban, let's say, Mega Metagross. Now I am no longer able to use Mega Metagross for myself. Um, basically, we go back and forth. Um, ban- so wait, I got a quick question. Is it like, is it like snake style like do i get one and then you get two and then i get two like or is it just one 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 yep so um that leads into the second question on this doc how will pick ban work so if player one say kev decides to go first um you know obviously you uh ban Me- mega metagross for me as the example but then now i get to ban you know i get the next two so the next two that i pick you know let's just say mega tyranitar and excadrill and then you and then you get your second ban for myself so you would pick clefable per se and then after that now we go 1v1 for the for the first three picks so that's how the cycle would work then we would repeat the cycle with me going first and then you getting two bands. So it's basically essentially a combination of uh, of the snake format in particular for the banning process. And then the picking process is just one for one back and forth, um, if that makes any sense. And I will post, uh, you'll see uh, very quickly, I'll put it up really quickly. Boom, uh, this is what your final lineup should look like once everything is all said and done. Um, so we'll go to the next question. So after the very last pick, so once you get, you know, your your team of six, once your opponent has a team of six, uh, now you have to, you know, send uh, the screenshot unedited, okay? We want to make sure that, you know, everything was, you know, the picking process was fair and, you know, nobody, you know, you know, no collusion whatsoever, right? So basically, you know, once all six picks are in you can you can leave you can send the four bands if you want to you don't have to but the essential thing is to post the the six mon lineups for yourself and for and for your opponent um in the uh, certain channel on the discord and so you know everybody knows like you know what what the matchup's gonna look like and things like that once the lineups are posted um you know I go, I'll bring my guys into my corner. Kev has his guys for his corner. Um, the, we'll, we'll whip up, you know, the best team possible and may the best man win from, from that on. Um, the format for these battles. So the one Nat Dex game will be on Nat Dex Legacy on sports. Gen 8 OU will be played on Gallardex Draft. The Gen 6 game will be on Gen 6 Draft. And then all three VGC games will be played on the regular showdown server um i don't know i I, I believe normal showdown has 2016 uh we can double check real quick obviously series 10 and 11 should be on yeah they should both be on there if not we always have access to uh legacy where it has a lot of the vgc format so we'll, we'll be completely fine um and then the other two other two housekeeping things before we get into the lineup reveals um of Number one, obviously uncheck the box to so that way everybody can watch the battle, so that way the replay can be public when it's all said and done. And Kev's favorite rule out of all of this probably, uh, the use of timer will be banned in every single format. Um, how do you feel about that rule, Kev? You big well, fan? Well, I, like, again, I am, I guess it is a known fact that I don't like timer. It's not that I, like necessarily i think it honestly helps me sometimes because i take long times to make decisions so i either like it allows me to just trust my gut and it helps me a bit but i think in all these formats a bunch of different coaches different time zones like a new off-season thing for ndl like i feel like it's just to keep things pg peaceful just a friendly competition between both leagues 
uh, and just just so there's no arguments over anything it's just nice to have like a, some fun and run some fun sets and make sure that there's just no timer making things annoying for anyone yeah for absolutely for sure and you know before we get into the lineup reveal as as many of you guys are anticipating right now very just want to put this out there you know speaking on behalf of the fun aspect a lot of people think this is just me being petty like and jealous of what kev has done over there in nda no 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 no. i have the utmost respect for what kev has done for that league it is honestly remarkable and you know hats off to him you know for doing what he does over there it's it's all love and all respect you know we no matter what the result happens this this yeah, week, week for sure whatever, you know i still hold nda in high regard and kev can say the same thing hopefully for for my end as yeah of, of course as a member of the ndl as well you know it's always always been a pleasure and uh can't take all the credit in the nda as well i, I have joined the league as an admin and been helping out a lot but my buddy wax who's also joined me and of course Ryder, have uh i feel like we've built an, we have built a little community and it's been going really well so far like you said so and i think the ndl is starting to get like i feel like this season with the uh, last season with all the co-op stuff it really there was some some uh some some bad cases but overall i think it was a pretty big success yeah to manage that many to manage that, that many coaches and it go as well as it did is uh, pretty great and that and that's the beauty of our leagues at the end of the day we're all just you know a fun loving community that shares the same you know unique bond of you know loving you know competitive pokemon and we just we just want to push each other you know to our limits and you know just be better and things like that so enough for all that sappy stuff. yeah without without further ado baby let's get into it all right so we, we i i already said the order okay again gen 6 ou 2016 vgc series 10 gen 8 ou series 11 nat dex and the ffa which i will uh reveal after we reveal all those lineups so i'm going to reveal my gen 6 ou coach and that yeah, is we can uh we can alternate like you can go first for this one i can go first for the next one we'll, we'll, we'll alternate all right that's all right all right so, all right but, so, so who you got for me who you got for me in gen 6 ou let's get it i got i have the one and the only mr the odd keystone himself now this is the this this is the coach that you know without him i wouldn't be playing competitive pokemon period and this is his format and i don't know anyone better in this format in my experiences you know in draft in competitive mons as a whole like this this is a guy that can consistently bring you know certain different types of play styles to the 18 and 1900s of this of this metagame and you know obviously his recent success in the pdl offseason tournament you know he was the the winning and deciding match uh for for the pdl side and he took care of business with a resounding 5-0 against uh against a fellow uh, a certain uh dutch uh cult member <laughs> i gotta say like i think i think ha- me having keystone in my opinion is always is always a one a, an easy 1-0 to start to start an offseason tournament like this but uh interesting who, interesting but who do you have on your side that will try to take down the the mighty uh ndl keystone so as you know we are a primary like major double server but you know we, do, we got some we got some singles heads in here we got some we got some brain about us that play some singles so uh I would say our most experienced singles player is actually going to join Keystone in Gen 6 OU. And that is our friend, the Will Kid, our boy Will. That Will, be... Will Kid will face off against the odd Keystone in Gen 6 OU. Now, Indeed. Now, they like have it. squared off in the past. They have squared off in the past, particularly in uh, NDL. Um, will, I believe, has the winning record on Keystone. But this is Gen 6 OU. So this this will be you know I, I don't know how long it's been. I, uh, I gave Will the choice of his singles format. Uh, obviously he's the most experienced, and he said he felt like he could definitely do some work here. So I'm excited to see this matchup. This is actually gonna be this is gonna be really hype. This matchup. 
sure. Oh, um, absolutely, absolutely. I look forward to a great match from these two. Um, yeah. But now we go on to one of your formats, the VGC 2016. Yep. And I will go first. Um, yeah, how about we do that? We'll go first for each of our formats. So um, for the VGC uh, 2016, I have my boy, also your boy in real life, uh, Quirtz. Uh, Quirtz is joining us from the NDA to represent for the 2016 VGC. Uh, Quirtz has a lot of experience actually in this format. Man competed in to- uh, many a tournament and a lot of ladder games for uh, 2016 VGC. And I know, I know he's definitely backing himself in this one. So I'm excited to see who you got for me against Quirtz. Um, this is a really interesting pick. This is a this is a very out of the box pick. Um, but I'm glad that I have him on my side. He is uh, not not the main, not the leader of the Dutch cult, but he is a representative. I knew it. I knew it. Always blame Lag XD, aka Commander. I'm really surprised that um, I was really banking on uh, you, Kev, taking this format. Um, Interesting. As uh, you know, Xander has a very, very good record against you, particularly in in the Gen. Yeah, that, that man loves some hacks. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but uh, no, Xander's a good battler, and he does like. I knew this if I when I was uh, predicting the NDL boys. I, I had a feeling Xander might be in this format just because he has been a part of our. We also uh, play in a retro draft league where we go back to old formats. And uh, Xander did uh, make the championship. He beat me in the semifinals. Uh, you know, he got a first turn wake, but we don't we don't talk about that. So, um, you know, Xander is a good battler. So it's a very good representative of the NDL to go up in this uh, format for sure. Yeah, and I expect I expect a lot of cool tech from both of these guys uh, for sure. You know, th- you know the courts we all know from me. You know, being on the podcast with with Kevin every so often. You know, once in a Shout out NDA podcast. You know, just I think court I think Quartz and Xander like out teching each other is going to be a treat. You know what I mean? So again, this is going to be an entertaining one. Um a lot of tech is gonna be flying around regardless of what they draft. I'm I'm excited for what they draft. They 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 like to draft out of the box for sure. Like Xander has his, you know, a fandom of you know bringing fur it to games and you have courts bragging about man tyke of all things so we'll, we'll see what they come up with at the when it's all said and done for sure for sure now we go to now we go to another one of your formats so yes sir so we got series 10 vgc the past series that um involves no restricteds and for the first time in sword and shield no dynamax which is going to be interesting um and for representing us in this series is our beloved irishman sir wex so we have the wexford warrior um repre- playing in series 10 uh this is a this is a this, very solid uh, yeah, I would uh say we're, still- uh, we're currently in nda season 5 uh, playing series 10 and wex is currently sitting at the very top of the league uh tied the record for most points uh ever earned in an nda season um just had a phenomenal phenomenal season with his team so it was a no-brainer putting wex with this one yeah i this i i'm not surprised by this pick at all this is a this is a safety you know comfort pick for you this is like this is a this is a very reliable pick, you know, kind of like how I I am very confident in the odd keystone in Gen Six OU. Um, this doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, great selection, Kev. Really, really. Um, I have uh, the the one and only uh, an- another wedding DJ just like myself, Mr. Oh. Masteriolu in Series Ten. Now there was a little like mix up with uh you know i'll reveal the last of vgc coach later he thought he had 10 and riolu had 11 but you know i flipped it around because i want my i want to put my uh i want to put my soldiers in winning positions in my opinion i really think that you know with riolu loving uh a format without max he's really having a blast um you know he's He's had a good season as well he's not had a good season he's up there he's up there for sure and uh you know i'm i'm excited to see uh you know how they're going to 
you know, pick Bam back back and forth? Will Will Riolu try to you know stop you know win, try to ban uh, Whimsicott first, or or will Wex uh, pull something else out the hat? That that's where I'm at right now, at least. I think one safe prediction is that neither of these boys will get the click buttons with Whimsicott. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to say it. I, I like the I like the way you think, Kev. I, I really they like actually it. they actually did not play during our regular season, so this will that be is... a brand new matchup for both of them in this format. And you guys are currently in playoffs right now, and it's to my we knowledge, are. they're on opposite sides of the bracket, I believe. They are. I actually have the privilege of playing Riolu in the first round, so we. Uh... Ah, so you're so now you're really using uh, Wex to go scout a little bit, you know, a little, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Now, now we go to one of my formats again. Uh, yes, sir. Gen, Gen A OU, one of the uh, most uh, infamous formats for many different reasons. Um, I have an NDL uh, OG. He like he like this is an this is dating back to when the league was called NSL back in the day. I have radioactive mail for this one. Wow. Uh, yeah, a little a little trip down memory lane, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so the reason why Mayo left was because he didn't he tried out uh, NDL season two. He drafted G Max Toxtricity, but didn't really get to do anything with it, and just hasn't been a, a fan of maxing in in you know draft since. So you know I think putting him in a non max format like Gen A O U made, made, made the most sense in my opinion um he's he's very experienced in that format um he's running his own he's running his own league called the eta um and it it did a very well they did very well the first season um and they're going they're planning on being uh playing bdsp ou for the for season two so very exciting stuff cool very exciting stuff um mayo is an exciting battler for sure um, he likes to bring he likes to bring offensive stuff a, l- a little chip off the old block you know what I'm saying so l- we'll see who Mayo is gonna be playing against. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting one. Like as I said before, we are a doubles league. Uh, singles players are hard to come by, but uh, this person uh, I back his uh, integrity. I back his weird sets, and th- he ha- does have some experience with national decks. And uh, just singles in general a bit. Uh, enters a couple of tournaments on Showdown here and there. Um, my good buddy and friend, our friend, uh, Gronk. And uh, Whoa. Justin is going to be playing Gen 8 OU. So the coach of the Blackwood Ball Toys will be playing Gen 8 OU. He will be. This is, a, this is also a PDL2 coach was just one kill away from being promoted to PDL1 along with Ryder and myself. Um, th- this is a very competent singles battler. Almost, if not better than- He's definitely got a lot of experience other than, like over than some of the other people in the NDA. So um, it made sense to use him as an asset in one of our singles games for sure. Yes, and obviously this will be a, the first time uh, both of these coaches have faced off against each other head to head. So th- th- this will be this will be exciting to see uh, you know what they what they pick for themselves, what they ban for each other, and uh, it'll it'll be a good it'll be another good one to to watch uh, for sure. Hundred percent. Now now we're going into our last uh our third and final formats for each of us so we got series 11 next on the card take it away all right so series 11 the upcoming well current uh vgc format where there's one restricted per team and uh you know dynamax is back after series 10 uh this is uh this is an interesting one um had to think who I would want for my last doubles match and this man runs a doubles server is the champion twice of his own double server it only made sense to put my boy Ryder as in series 11 VGC it, it, it's it's it was very it's very fitting I I, I, I have no other words like you hit yeah. it right on the head you hit it right I, on 
I back Ryder against anyone in any VGC format. That man plays. He just he just gets it, man. He's gotten to the finals of his other league that he's in a couple times. Uh, he did lose. There's a <laughs> he has an arch nemesis that he can't quite beat in the championship in in a different league. But uh, he's beaten my he spanked my ass a couple times in the playoffs in our, our league. So it just you know I think uh, pound for pound in any format he's uh, probably the best VGC battler in our little league. So had to, had to have him in uh, some form of VGC in our team. So. He is playing the most current format, Series 11, against the, someone from your team. The, Let's get it. Another uh, another fellow New Yorker. Uh, shout, shout, shout outs to Brooklyn. You know, this is uh, a very eccentric uh, figure in the community. Someone who has the hottest... <laughs> day singles player now. Yeah, someone who has the hottest takes of all time. It's, it, it's Hungry Hungry Harrison. Yeah. I have... I had to put Triple H in in a match format. Like th- this man was disgusting in Series Nine. The the he he his prep is just out of this world. Like he he puts things together, and you're just like, this doesn't make sense. But then when you see it come through fruition, it's just like, wow. Like the man the man has future sight when it comes to to having a game plan. And for him to take on Ryder. Now, now we got to. Now we about to see if he he can he can walk the walk. He can certainly talk the talk, but <laughs> for sure, I, I like to see. I like to see hungry, hungry Harrison. You know, walk that walk against you know probably the most decorated uh, NBA player of all time. For sure, hundred percent. He's uh. I don't know. After this uh, league, after NBA season five, we're gonna check back to the all time standings. But I believe Ryder is. Like right on my tail, if not ahead of me at this point, of uh, for all time wins and stuff. And of I course, think he, it, I think it's like you. I think it's like Ryder. It's me. It's me. Ryder Wex. We're top three. I, yeah. I don't know exactly where we all fall. And of course, this man does, has two titles to his name after four seasons. Yeah. He's won. He's won half the league so far. So he has uh, to be number one based on that for sure. Yeah, for sure. And now, Hungry Hungry Harrison has the privilege of trying to dethrone a two-time champion. For sure. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff. And I think that puts us in an interesting uh, predicament for NatDex, Eli. I think it does. <laughs> I really think it does. Are we, are we really squaring off? I, it, squaring it, off? It, it does appear that way, doesn't it? Well, whoop de do. Um... <laughs> So who you got? Who, who you confirming for your lineup for Netflix? I mean, you're you're speaking to him right now. <laughs> you might also be speaking to who you're playing in that. Day. Wow, what a turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. So the team captains for the respective leagues are squaring off against each other in the national decks format with NDL rules. Now this is different. A little different from the PDL rules as, you know, in NDL we allow things such as cut moves and, uh, you know, certain stat passing and all those wonderful things. Uh, man. Like flying gem. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll relax, I'll relax, I'll relax. But we, run, we run things like in power. You are hilarious. Wow. Give this man a show. If, I mean, you, know, you, if you know, you know. Yeah, give this man a show, man. Yo, we'd be running things like hidden power and stuff. Like, you know, needs to sign you up, like green light you really quick. It's your own. Oh, it, it's all love. It's all. Oh, love. Man. This. I mean, yeah, I gotta start the trash talk early, bro. We're, we're we're throwing down. I. Yeah, it's it's only it's only fitting. I didn't I didn't want to. St- I'm I'm always been a fan of you know. I'm the one to to end it. I'm not the one to start. It, okay. <laughs> So, but as history does show, like, Kev does have my number twice in, in, in my own league, head to head. It do be like that. He, he it, beat it, me. It's, it's always been super close. It's always been super close. Yeah, he beat me week one in, in the season that I won. And then yeah, my, my first ever, my first ever game, caught the he, dub. And then season three, he caught another dub now were were there certain uh <laughs> were there certain things involved such as 
a heat wave going left or a sweet goon being frozen. Yes, but I don't remember that to be honest. But you know what? You know what? We're putting that all aside. I'm, you know, I'm a man of you know focusing on the now than reflecting on the past. You know, so I mean, let's can, be honest. I have beat you. To, I you can have your flying gem, Joe. <laughs> what you want. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm here in the in the moment. I'm here right now. Yeah, like let's be honest. I may have two victories against you, but I am in no means the favorite. <laughs> no, I'm not. I I would say I'm still a large underdog in this scenario. But I don't know. I just the way things fell. I thought as much as I back myself as a very good doubles player, it I felt maybe I should probably play singles over someone like Wex, <laughs> like who probably shouldn't play singles. I so mean, like, Wex does have a very notable win against uh, a certain Bangladesh boy, but he um, does, he do. And that, Wex, he does like to pull one out of his hat every once in a while. But even Wex would tell you that there's no way he should be playing singles. So, and he definitely should be playing series ten. So just the way the roster fell, like I had a feeling that we might square off in that deck. <laughs> yeah, this is if there was any, you know, certain, you know. Uh, a star like national broadcast to watch out for i think it's this i think it's our game honestly yeah i'm there's excited so, about ours so much banter there's so much there's so much like you know it's the captains going off right like there's so much on the line with our game in particular like every single one of the games we revealed prior to this were were very good games but this one is just <laughs> top bill box office like Th this might we're, be we're the main event, event bro yes i i 100 agree and i hope and i hope we can play to that main event level for real and hopefully the and hopefully the agency is watching down upon us and just lets us have a a solid game that's all i can say that's my final thoughts yeah but I'm now excited. let's get it we get to the ffa format now now this is because this is best of seven you know we ha oh. i have my three formats i picked my three formats kev picked his three well, formats it's best of six and if there is a tie which is possible because obviously you expect the person from each format to win their own format in theory so if there is a tie we made sure that we had a fair tiebreaker to settle things and the format we decided is a very very uh it's a very brand new format this format only came out like two three months ago on sports didn't it come out on like april fool's day with like some a bunch of different like meme mods and stuff like that yeah, that thing? yeah it started <laughs> off as a it started off as a meme on april fool's day and then it turned into an actual playable format and you can draft with it it's actually very very insane and I'd like to go ahead and go first and say that I have Gilble for Life, aka the Memphis, the coach of the Memphis Beware's, and the coach of the Hawaii Volcanians, aka Eruption, oh. for the FF. The dynamic duo. The dynamic duo, also known as the Hawaiian Beware's, for the FFA. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I did not reach. I did not recruit elsewhere for this. Um, I feel like if it goes to a tie. I will nominate myself as team captain to play. And as of now, I think I guess it's subject to change. It gets like for scheduling and stuff. But as of now, I think it'll be me, myself, and uh, Justin, uh, my good buddy Gronk, probably squaring up in this really? one. Really? Uh, so we will not see Dynamax Rotom Wash in this tiebreaker. Wow! Wow! No wet, no wax this time. Interesting. That would be poetic if. Uh, I brought Wax and we Dynamax Red and Wash, but <laughs> it is. I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, that's just how the schedule goes. And uh, we're going to go over really quickly uh, how that would be played out. Again, uh, it may or may not come down to this. Um, but again, um, again, this is the FFA for game seven if, if needed. It's. FFA for those that don't know, it's free for all. That's what the acronym stands for. Uh, it's essentially one v one v one v one. But um, you know, as 
we we revealed already, um, there will be two coaches representing the NDL and two coaches representing the NDA, and they will go head to head together. Yep. Um, Last man standing from their league is declares the winner of the boar, basically. So there, how unfortunately, you know, even though it says free for all, um, there will be certain rules that people will have to follow. Um, rule number one being hazard stacking of any kind and the use of the move protect will be banned now i i've played this meta a little bit here and there not to the point where i'm like you know in actual drafts and things like that but um the use of protect in this format is honestly super 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 busted um you know it's not very exciting to watch and you know there's going to be, you know, it's basically a format of who can, you know, get the double and triple protects off. You know, <laughs> if 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 protect was legal and yeah. I were to recruit uh, my boy Robert Gray, for example, <laughs> that wouldn't that wouldn't be a fighting chance. So yeah, they'd be getting them triple protects be, like it's nobody's business. Well, I think it would be most fair to just ban the move altogether. And then also, uh, you know, ban hazard stacking um, simply because I think the presence of, you know, T spikes and spikes and stealth rocks and webs are just super, super annoying. Uh, nobody wants to deal with that. And it's also really weird. So like if like the ND, like if the NDL people were to set up hazards, they might set up hazards you know, on each other because it's yeah based it's on like kind of random where you line up on the field when it's getting sent out so you don't want to set hazards for your own teammate to be uh, to be hurt by it you know nobody wants to have you know like, he, like he's your teammate but it's also a free-for-all like it's it's a weird dynamic but i think i i'm gonna like it's a really good way to settle things for sure which leads to the second rule um drive drive baton pass only so no passing of substitutes or stats but wish passing is fine and i have to specify this for all the doubles people particularly kev's team ally switch is banned and i should be thanking you for that because well, we should be thanking you for that ally switch will fail it will fail because there are no allies <laughs> and it, it, it only work if they line up with like if we were to line up next to each other anyway so but yeah it definitely will fail uh that is definitely something me and justin would bring because we're small brain and would forget that it would fail but definitely definitely banned just because it won't work but you know hey if your team wants to try it they can definitely try it you never know um the sixth mon that comes onto the field for yourself must dynamax or gigantamax the moment it comes on the field now this i feel like so the dynamax button is available at any time in the battle and i would feel that if one if one person uses the max button too early or a little too late, it might affect how the game would be played. So it felt that the best way to handle that situation in particular is to wait until uh, five mons are, you know, out, right? So if you're down, like, you don't even have to wait for all five, for the first five mons to like go down. Like, just wait until, cause it, it follows the same premise of like, when you're like doing random, uh, free for alls with your friends, you with no team preview. Um, it just follows that same concept. Uh, you know, the last mon in your in your party um, must di Dynamax or Gigantamax. So that's how I that's how I felt would be the most fair. Um, again, rule number four isn't really rule number four, but it's just that uh, the format on sports for this game will be Gallardex FFA Dynamax. Again, as much as I wanted to do national decks FFA Dynamax, uh, their tier list was a bit weird with what was, you know, deemed legal and what wasn't legal, which we'll mm -hmm. I get to later in Rule 5. Um, but I felt that Gallard decks FFA Dynamax would be the most fair based on their tier list because for Rule number 5, all Ubers and Anything Goes Pokemon will be banned with the exception of cinderace 
Darmanitan Galler, Dracovish, Naganado, Spectrier, Urshifu Single, and Zygarde 50%. And I have to mention, it is Aura Break only, because I do be forgetting that Power Struct is legal in y'all format. I don't know how, but it is. So I have to specify that Zygarde 50 can only run Aura Break in this format. Um, those are the only Ubers Pokemon that can be uh, drafted um, in this FFA. Um, the team, the uh, the people that will be participating in this format will follow the same pick ban procedures as I mentioned uh, a little while back. Um, I'll try my best to add timestamps for people, um, you know, just to skip to you know certain parts and things like that. Um, please pick ban for your own roster and only one opponent. So uh, Memphis should go out to Justin or Gronk or whoever and do the pick ban with them. And then I'll probably have Hawaii like pick ban with you, Kev. It just makes things easier. So yeah, we'll figure it out. I mean, again, we have all the rules just in case, but I mean, it might not even come to the tiebreaker. So if like, if there's any questions or anything, like we'll go over everything if the time comes when we have to play this um but yeah that that pretty much some much sums it up here um y'all won't see see us for a while um we'll we'll come back and we'll go over every single game um oh boy if if we don't end up doing the ffa um if it doesn't go to the F actual ffa I'll prob there'll probably be like just a random battle FFA between the four, just just to have you know some good bants, some good laughs, and uh, yeah. Ooh, are we doing? No, it wouldn't be fair to do pickups. It's just us. It's just us. <laughs> we would pick for our side to win. Yeah, five of, course. Would, of course. Of course. You would pick your side to win five, four. Like, come on now, that wouldn't be fair. So yeah, pick you know what I needed. The, the the team that wins will have enough enough spoils bragging rights. So, so you know what? We'll we'll let the comment section decide. Again, are you are you hashtag team NDL? Are you hashtag team NDA? Let let us know. Give 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 us a give us some like some final scores too. You know what? If you leave a final score, I will personally give you two free transactions for the for the new season five how about that if you get them right if you get a prediction right on the final score line like if you say ndl wins four to two and you get hit it right on the money that's two free f transactions that's equivalent to locking in one loan for next season we gotta keep it spicy out here we gotta keep it spicy you know what i'm saying Kev? Gotta keep it that seems like a good deal to hey, me. hey man hey but that's enough that's enough for us today um we've probably you know rambled on a little bit too much and uh, i don't like rambling a lot on my channel i don't know about i don't know about yeah. the podcast but no the nda we love a good <laughs> ramble but you know we're excited we're, we're excited for this it, are y'all ready are, are y'all ready uh, uh, ready bro hey, we're ready i wish you the best of luck to you and your team and i expect good clean fights all out <laughs> Of course, of course, always. And with that, it's been your boy Eli the Rebel. I'll catch y'all next time. Deuces. Thanks for having me. Peace. <laughs>